Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to show you some bits and pieces that I'm working on. Now I have started using the ribbons um, to make the flowers. This is the silk ribbon and um, got it in beautiful baby pink. Several colours, I'm using satin ribbon as well. Um, and these are the little flowers that I'm making. So I hope you can see that. That's a satin rose. What did I have there? Something on there. Um, these are the little flowers. I've got to put the backs on. Um, there's another one. I hope you can see those. There's another one. Um, and they're for projects. There's another beautiful rose with the back on. Like that. Uh, doing these as well, which I might alter them actually because I've got the wrong colour ribbon. Um, but you, using these little stamen, you need four needles or four pins. I don't have any needles. Oh. You need four pins. I'm only using needles because I can't find my blooming pins. Here's another one that I've still got a, a yellow uh, ribbon in the middle and then the silk ribbon on the outside. There's a satin ribbon with silk ribbon so I'm just at the moment I'm just putting the backs on like that actually that was done in with black thread but I'm going to be doing it with white thread Um, just because I was showing what I've done with that one and they're really easy to make they're not hard at all I know you know sometimes they look hard but they're not. But to get the back though, it's very, very basic and very simple. You cut oh inch and a half of ribbon. Take your flame. You just touch at the sides. It doesn't take much because they're satin ribbons. And I need to thread my needle, which I'm going to do with the cream. I mean, I should use, in fact, I might do that. I should use the actual thread colour that I've got uh, for the ribbon to match. So I'm just going to do that. These are my sewing threads. And I have got one here that I will match up. Like that. So we can get this off. There we go. Very th fine silk thread these are. Try and get that through. So I'm going to start showing you how to do some ribbon flowers now. Uh, you know, I mean, we do lots and lots and lots of different flowers. But these are quite easy. So I've got about an inch and a half. We've burnished the edges. Let me move that out of the way. Whoops. Completely. <laughs> Put my scissors away. Uh, and what you do is start on the edge of the ribbon in the centre. And just do a tacking stitch. And then you're running it across like that. So you do a running stitch. like that and then you're going back to the opposite side with a running stitch so you've done like a V hope you can see that and then we're going the opposite way so you're going to make a diamond shape and it's just a very quick way to make a cup for the flower And if you've never sewn before, give it a go. It's good. It's great to do it. So there, we've got the V in. You put your thumb in the... Turn it upside down. Put your thumb in the centre because you want the shiny bit on the outside. And pull that in. So just pull the thread round. You can sort it out after. 
you made a little cup and then stitch that with a couple of tacking stitches and we'll snip that off cut that bit down so you've got like a little bell cup like that um, that one's got one on which one hadn't that one hasn't and this one hasn't so I'm going to put it on this one and you drop the glue in the cup pop on your flower and then push the flower into it like that and it just gives you a little cup to hold it in like that we'll just move that one up again like that and these are really easy flowers to make oops long thread really easy flowers to make so I'm just going to do one for that as well again you need to cut and just burnish the end Take your silk thread or cotton, it doesn't have to be silk. Oops, a daisy. A couple of tacking stitches. Come on, cotton. There we go. And then take it to the edge in the center. Turn that round. And then back to the other edge on the opposite side. Doesn't have to be done really neat or anything. Sorry if you can hear my stomach. I've just been out for my tea. Raymond and I decided we're not cooking, we're going out. So we went to a local pub for a uh, tea there. Quite enjoyable, actually. And then what we're going to do, make sure the silky side is on the outside. This is like a double silk though, this one, so it doesn't matter. Pull that into like a bell and, and stitch that. Come on, get this done. There we go, one more stitch. Snip that off. Just pull it so it evens it out like that. You don't have to put the glue on the inside, you can do it on the flower itself. And you lay that on and push the flower into that, and it helps cup the flower. There. Um, and if you get any loose bits, just burnish them off like that. And there you go. I'm just filming. Um, right, okay. And there you go, there's another one. Like that. I'll sort that out. Oh, don't worry. Don't let them in here, please. Only because they keep touching stuff as well. So, and then you can make smaller buds as well, which I've got there. And that's going to go on a project. So I hope you can see those. Um, also, like I say, we've got the rose. Um, I love the roses. They're quite pretty. 
um, and they will all go on projects but that's how you do them that's how you do the leaf the rose itself I'm going to show you the rose itself um, we need to take the right coloured thread <laughs> I'm just going to take some of this I don't cut chunks off this I only cut what I need because um, it's <laughs> it's silk and I don't want to waste any of it if I can help it so just snip that off get the oh, palest that's the palest right, I'm just going to put that thread back there we go and I shall show you how to do the actual flower I mean of course there'll be people out there that already know there we go again I'm using my long needle and that's only because um, it helps my hands now somebody said I don't I haven't exactly said what's wrong with my hands I have um, I get a lot of pain in my joints um, and uh, you know a lot of people do um, when I had the bone density done last year a year before I can't remember uh, and they said it's um, borderline for osteoporosis, but hopefully my fingers are okay at the moment. <laughs> but I do dread that day coming. <clears throat> right, take your ribbon. Now, from my angle, I'm looking down onto the ribbon. So you need the shortest end here on the left-hand side. Take the ribbon and fold it straight like that. See? You've got a straight line. And then you fold it back on itself to continue with that straight line there straight line there straight line there and then you just pin that like that so you've made a corner turn it around and we're going to do the same thing again now you can put a gap between this corner and this corner or you can keep it for the small bud you will do it directly on the side of this here see let me just show you like that so you've got a nice tight square so we've gone from this uh, spare bit done the corner gone over and done the next corner and then we do it again this is going to do the bud this is not the big flower this is the bud Fold it back up so straight again and fold it back on itself. So we've got three corners done now. Turn it round again, fold it up, just take some of this off. So we've got straight now, we've gone flipped it over, flip it back on itself and put your neck, oops, lost the pin, there it is, needle. And then snip that off. <coughs> we just snip that off there. Fold this together like that and then join that pin. So you've made that square like that and unfortunately I'm having to waste that little bit but never mind. Take your needle and thread, start on any corner, it doesn't matter. Just give it a tacking stitch. I will go over the instructions again just so it's nice and clear for you. Oops a daisy. Okay, so we've got that. Take the pin out. Continue going across to the other corner. Turn it 
turn it around start from this corner now and you're going back up across the edge take the pin out and keep going right to the next corner you don't have to have all your stitches the same size they're just you're just tacking it that's all you need to do because these you don't see turn the corner again There we go. Take the pin out. Actually, I could have kept that corner on, but I didn't, but it doesn't matter. So now we've got that. Your square. Turn it the other way so the folded edges are here. And then what you do is you pull, pull it all, tuck it all in and pull, gather it all up and I think if I remember rightly this is the tulip rose, uh, the tulip flower sorry. And then just do a few stitches across the bottom section to keep it all pulled together. And there's your tulip, but what you do is you undo it and that bit that you I cut off, I just glue that little bit there and tuck it in. Just tuck that in there, just helps to make the flower itself. And then pull all of these like that. And there you go, you've made your flower. And I'm just going to add the stamen. pop that in the center and just squeeze the flower whoops like that and there you go you've got a beautiful flower and again I'll have to do the base for it so we're just going to cut an inch and a half and uh, what to do with my burner there we go burnish the edges, change my thread, don't waste that, come in handy again when I do another one, just pop the other one away, cheers just put it there please, we're not going to say hello Raymond, Everybody I'm filming? No, Why do they all think you're wonderful doing all that posting? Do they? Yeah. No. Say hello to everybody. Hello. That's all you'll get from him. <laughs> Hang on, because I've got to see to thread this. Right, again, from the centre, oops, pulled it through, never mind, just snip that bit off, and we're taking it from the centre across to the centre of the end, uh, to the end, the central piece there, like that. Go back and do it to the opposite side. Again. Making that diamond shape.
Oops, a daisy. Like that. So we've got the diamond shape, and then we turn it the right way, which either way with this one, and pull. And then all we do is add a couple of tacking stitches. Cut. Take your flower. Add your glue. Pop your flower in. Pushing it down. Right, like that. And there you go, look. Isn't that pretty? Oh, sorry, that is my stomach. I do apologise. Um, what have I done with the other? Oh, there they are underneath. So I'm just going to move this and we'll show you them again. So there's the one we've just made with the ones we made earlier. And you can get them smaller like that. I thought that was a bud, it's not, <laughs> it's not turned out as a bud. Let me just do this. That's it, just burnish the edges. Like that. They're gorgeous. So that's it, thanks for watching. Um, not hard to do. I'll show you the rows in another video. Um, just try them. They look so, uh, they, well, they're just as good as bought ones. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Give it a go. Bye-bye for now.